Welcome into the first football Friday night of October and oh baby you feel that little chill in the air. That's what we call football weather and there's a lot of big games going on. Not a lot of time to talk about them so let's get into it. Let's do it. We're going to start down in Charleston. That's where the Tigers play host to Cedarville. Charleston coming off a big win in their conference opener at Greenland. While the Pirates come to town looking to loot and pillage, or, or they just look want to win a football game, actually. That would give them their first 5 0 start, though, in program history. We were 4 0 last year, um, and then we faced Charleston, you know, so that's uh, where we're 4 0 again. 5 0 will be the first time in school history. And it'd, it'd be the first win over Charleston since 1985. They present a new new uh, perspective. You know, we've been playing spread teams and everybody running down spread. And, you know, they're going to have that tight end. And they're going to run it to the tight end and, and say, stop me if you can. In the 2A Magazine hosts Mountainburg, a rivalry that finally got less lopsided last year when the Rattlers took home, took down the Dragons for the first time in six years. When you face Mountainburg, you know what to expect from the offense. It's Tom Harrell's famed empty spin cycle. Magazine will look to win that battle before the balls even snapped. Reading hats and, you know, making sure we're in position uh, before the play starts to, to make a play. They do a lot of shifting and a lot of pre-snap motion and stuff like that, trying to catch you off guard and catch you out of position. But overall, a lot of excitement. You know, Mountain Berg's kind of a kind of a robbery game for us. The kids are excited to finally play at home again. On to the 7A West, where Bentonville West hosts Springdale tonight. It's the first conference game of the year for the Wolverines after Fayetteville no contested last week. While wow, the Red Dogs are 1-0 already in 7A West play, coming off a win over Heritage. No matter how they got here, though, it's a battle of two teams with a lot of mutual respect. I mean, they're a good football team, and uh, they beat uh, Choctaw, who almost beat Greenwood down in Greenwood a couple weeks ago. So, uh, you know, they're, they're a really good football team, and a team that uh, has gotten better. I, I feel like they've gotten a lot better than they were last year. Uh, they never seem to give up big plays. I mean, year in and year out, that's what they do. Uh, that's what they do the best. They're, they're young. Uh, they're, they're maybe younger than they've been in a long time. I mean, they're a good quality football team as they are year in and year out. That brings us here to Harmon, where less than 48 hours ago, we weren't even sure a game was going to take place, but now we get a reboot of a classic as Fayetteville gets set to host Fort Smith Northside. Both the Purple Dogs and the Grizzlies had their opponents cancel because of COVID-19 quarantines. About 8 p.m. Wednesday night, decided to get together at the 11th hour. This used to be a classic in the days before the 7A even existed, but now the two haven't met since 2015, which is a purple dog romp. Both teams are excited just to get to play a game, though just two days of prep presents a whole new kind of challenge. I think you got to come out and keep it simple. Uh, the biggest thing is just do what your kids obviously know 100%, uh, what they're confident in and what they feel good about. And, I, and we'll put together a great plan for them just like we have, um, and they'll come out and play fast and, and, and be ready to go. About 30 minutes left until games kick off around the state, and then it's about four hours till we show you all the highlights, so be sure to tune in then for another round of Football Friday Night.